Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I've done a sales video, but in today's episode I'm going to be showing you 22 of my sales over the last couple of days. I've been doing really well, thankfully. Fingers crossed it carries on. Hopefully everyone else is having some really good sales too. But we're going to go through these in just a second. All right, so I have my sloth mug with a cup of tea because, you know, mm. <laughs> that's hot. Uh, yes, we always like to have a cup of tea while we're working. Uh, first thing I want to show you is just a little bit of a card. I ordered some cards from uh, Vistaprint to go in my packages. Uh, nothing special, uh, just like value customer cards with a uh, coupon code. It's actually not an actual coupon code. eBay do let you generate a link uh, which you can put on these cards. And when they go to it, then they get the discount already applied to, I think, anything that they buy on your shop. But I didn't want that because obviously uh, there is stuff I'm, you know, not going to be accepting uh, a discount on. Uh, so I want to be able to uh, make sure I can deny that uh, if there's ever an item that I don't want to have a discount. But this pretty much gives everyone... 10% discount on anything they want. So all of the instructions are on the back. So they go to my link, they find an item they want. And then when they send an offer, they put the coupon code in and then I either send them the 10% off, uh, you know, quote, and they can accept it or they can put the 10% discount in themselves and I'll accept it. Uh, so yeah, these have been going in my packages. Uh, I've only had them for a few days. So I've not had any uh, come back yet with, uh, with offers and stuff, but if that gets me, you know, a couple extra sales a month, then that's fantastic. I ordered 2,000 of them. It cost me £40. Uh, and 2,000 is about as many as I'll ship in a year. So I've got hiccups. I don't know why. Anyway, I thought I'd show that at the beginning of the video because, you know, filler. Got to get 10 minutes, you know. Uh, but yeah, let's start. Uh, we have 22 items that have sold. Uh, I literally only sent packages out like a day ago and uh, I've been really busy. So uh, yeah, listing 10 or more a day seems to be working very well for me. So we're going to start with a Maui Moona toy. So this here is Mr. Moona himself. I don't know whether Moona is the male or the female. Uh, I don't watch it, but yeah, he is in there. He is a 20 seven centimeter large toy uh he would have gone for about 30 pounds on his own or 25 30 pounds but he is missing his attachment uh belt and a few other little bits but he is in there he's got his necklace he doesn't have the weapon or whatever it is he holds but there is two of the animals from the show as well and i got 20 pounds for that this was like a throw in that i got from uh, one of my recent pickups from uh one of my contacts which is a really nice sell because i literally listed that uh, yesterday and it sold pretty much instantly so yeah a little bit of a discount on the guy and I threw in two char characters from the show or movie as well and uh, it flew out so quick uh, probably one of the fastest sales I've had in recent times which is fantastic okay next up we have sold a queen shirt this is actually the second queen shirt I've sold in a matter of days actually so I got these all for one pound each a couple months ago uh, during the after the first lockdown ended I think from a charity shop uh, so this is a size size medium uh, 2015 Queen and Adam Lambert tour shirt and uh, I got 11 pounds so yeah 11 times my money on that one obviously before fees and they did pay three pound fifty postage so this probably will go as a uh, large or postable on uh, on Hermes which is uh, two pound fifty so there is a little bit extra there um on the postage but that's fine because that covers my packaging and obviously your fees and taxes and whatnot so that's nice so that will just go as a flat parcel so 11 pounds on that one i'm very happy uh these are starting to sell it's really hot in this room but here we go the next item sold is this little pair we have mario and luigi uh mario mario and uh luigi mario and they have sold for 9.99 plus £3.50 postage. And again, these were only listed like a day or two ago, which is really nice. Um, these are obviously small uh, little plushies, but they are genuine Super Mario World, I think it says on that, Super Mario or something. Uh, yeah, £10 on those two, which is very nice. Okay, now, oh, another one I listed yesterday. 
Uh, where have you gone? Here we go. So uh, one of my mates actually uh, has moved away and his parents have done a little bit of a uh, uh, house, not house clearance, but like a loft clearance. And they rung me up and they said, oh, we heard you're doing uh, eBay and stuff. Would you like to have a look at this stuff we're going to throw away? And this was one of the things that was in there. It's a brand new Laura Ashley home uh, photo frame. It weighs quite a bit and it is like gold uh, color. Uh, I looked these up, they were selling for around $29.99 pre-owned. Bear this in mind because you might think I'm stupid for doing what I did. $29.99 pre-owned, so used obviously. And this one is brand new. So I listed it for $35 and uh, like two people straight away were offering me $25. And I was like, you know what, I got it for free. Why wait for an extra five, ten pounds when I can just take 25 right now? Probably would have sold within the next couple of days for full asking price, but uh, 25 for something I got completely free. Uh, I'm happy taking that, and uh, it was really nice because at the beginning of yesterday, my sales weren't too fantastic. We did end on 189 pounds at the end of the day, though. So, um, I think having an early sell like this come through if you can accept one. Uh, always helps sell more throughout the day but that might not be true and I might be uh, talking nonsense there but I like to get an early sell it seems to be the days you get a nice early sell are the days you do really well so I accepted that one and uh, it worked out so yeah so one one hundred percent profit on that one obviously minus uh, fees and taxes and all that good stuff next up we have this little uh, Beatles songbook that came out from the Times magazine uh, years and years ago, 2010 or something, I think. Uh, 2009, sorry. Didn't get much on this, just £2.12 pence with uh, postage. Um, this actually came in a bundle of musical books I got for free from a charity shop uh, just before the last lockdown. Uh, they've been, you know, selling what maybe once a week or something like that. Uh, one of these booklets will sell. This is probably the cheaper one because it came free with a magazine. But the rest are doing well, like Elton John, uh, um, Coldplay, that kind of stuff, they're doing really good. And since I got them for free, very happy. All right, next up, we have sold a pair or set, whatever you want to call it, of Foster's glasses. These ones went for £7.65 for the pair, uh, plus the postage. So the Foster's glasses are the ones I have the most of. I think I have like 200. Uh, so these are the ones I've listed for the cheapest to begin with. Uh, the price of these will slowly go up um as we get closer to summer but having a load sell now is really good because it means that on the listing it says you know like 10 have sold or whatever and it helps people uh pay uh, or not pay like help it like helps people buy quicker if they see that they're selling because those other people are buying them which is really good so 765 that works out about uh three pound 80 each and uh yeah each glass worked out about 45 pence uh, when I bought them. So that is, I don't know, five, six times my money, something like that. Um, so yeah, this this cost me about one pound uh, and they've sold for 7.65. So yeah, like after fees, maybe six, seven times my money, something like that. Uh, so that is really nice. Uh, two Fosters will be going out. I'm not sure whether this was to a viewer, uh, but they did also buy some other stuff. Uh, which is really nice. I'll talk about that in just a second. But they did purchase this, uh, which is really good. So two more Fosters are going out. Uh, another update on the glasses while we're talking about the glasses. If you've not seen that video, go watch it. It's a great, well, I say great video. It's my video. I'm happy with it. Uh, I bought 700-ish glasses, brand new pub glasses on a palette. If you've not watched it, link will be in the description. Go check it out. But they're doing really well. I sold 38 so far. It doesn't sound like a lot, but that 38 has gained me back 205 pounds of the 330 I invested. So I still have 640 odd, 50 odd uh, glasses left. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be around the 3.54K mark when they've all sold, hopefully, fingers crossed. That's what we're aiming for. So yeah, 38 have sold for 205 pounds. That's without shipping on top. Shipping, I'm not calculating, I'm not tracking that because that's separate, I'm not, I don't want to add that into the total, but £205 they've paid for the actual glasses separate of postage, so I'm really happy with that so far. Also, I will advertise here for the first time ever, my brand new website, which has all of my links to both my Ebays, my Etsy, the Discord, uh, my Instagram, 
and uh, what else is on there? There's something else on there which I'm completely blanking on right now. Uh, there's three things, two Ebays, Etsy, Instagram, Discord, oh, and my YouTube, which you're already here. Uh, but yeah, the link to that is slothshop.shop. Very easy to remember, slothshop.shop. Go there now, check it out. Uh, all the links, uh, you can see my Instagram post on there. You can see my recent YouTube video uh, posts up there. And if there's anything I'm selling on the channel to you guys, I'll probably get listed over there as well. So you pay less uh, for the item. So anything in particular, at some point, maybe we do like a charity event, the links and stuff will be available over there. So do go check it out. Right, next up, we have two more glasses, two Warsteiner glasses. So these are the German glasses. I had them listed for $19.99 for the pair and I took an offer of £16.50. So you can tell the difference between the price. I got £7.60 for the two Fosters and £16.50 for these two. So the variation in the prices in different glasses is drastic. Um, so yeah, we have gained £8.25 per glass. And again, these cost me 47 pence each. Uh, so you guys can do the maths on that. I will have to spend a couple minutes cleaning these because if someone receives it in this dirty condition from the warehouse that it came from, they will probably not be very happy. So we'll give them a little bit of a wash out before I ship them. But yeah, they pay £3.50 postage on top, which is fantastic. These are nice and light. They'll go under one kilo. Uh, so yeah, another two glasses have sold. Next up, we have a mug. So I have a sip of my tea out of my mug. This is a very dirty mug. I need to wash it. Mm. So yeah, I um, bought a load of mugs uh, a while back. I bought about 150, 200 different mugs. Uh, this is one of them. It's a Sainsbury's mug and uh, it has jelly on, wibbly wobbly jelly. And this has gone for nine pounds plus postage. So nothing crazy, but nine pounds for just a generic uh, Sainsbury mug with a little bit of a graphic on there is pretty good. Uh, I paid £30, I think, for all of those mugs. So yeah, again, a load of stuff, 150 odd uh, different mugs for £30. Um, I love buying stuff like that for those crazy prices. Uh, next up we have Strongbow glasses. Again, these are ones that we have quite a few of. So I have listed these initially for quite a cheap price. They're very tall. Uh, and I got 750 again, so around the same as the uh, the other ones, the Foster ones. So 750 for the two. Nothing really special on these, other than uh, they're Strongbow and people like them. So yeah, I think I have around like 90 of these. Maybe I could be wrong. Uh, not as many as the Fosters, about half as many as the Fosters. But yeah, we are getting a few of these sold quite quickly for cheap. And uh, by the end of it, like once we get through about maybe a quarter, we'll up the price. And then we just keep upping the price until people stop buying them at that price. And then obviously we'll bring them back down to where people are buying them. So we will find like the uh, the optimal pay price that people are happy to pay. Uh, but yeah, getting the ball rolling on those listings is very important when you have a massive quantity. Uh, so yeah, so that is another two glasses sold. And next up we have another two. More strong way, but this time we have the chalice one. So two chalice cloudy apples. And these have gone for a little bit more, £9.99 plus postage. So we have two of these, a couple pounds more than the regular tall skinny glasses. Uh, I do like a cider uh, and these glasses are very nice. They have quite a good weight to them. Uh, they, they're held very easily in the hand. I do love a chalice. Uh, as someone that used to drink uh, Stella, having a chalice in your hand is much better and you know, harder to drop one of these than it is just a regular straight glass, especially after you've had a few. Uh, so that is really nice. Yeah, nine ninety nine on these, so he made about eight pound profit uh, before fees, which is really nice. Nine pound profit before fees. Sorry, not eight pound. Uh, yeah, so that is uh, very good. Next up, we have a game. Nothing special here, really. Just a medal of honor. We're going to move on pretty quick. Two pound fifty. Uh, for that one plus postage. Uh, by the way, I ship all of my games and media uh, through Hermes now. So I charge uh, £2.50 on all of my media. I actually make a little bit of a loss even at £2.50 because uh, this obviously goes as a postable, but I get the tracking number uh, and it just goes in a cheap poly bag. But that does cost me £2.44, I believe, with Hermes to do that. Um, so there's like 6p left over to pay for fees and taxes on that shipping. Uh, but 
it's just a much easier way to do it for myself so i'm happy taking the 30p ish loss or whatever it works out as and that just eats into the price they pay for the game so obviously the higher price game doesn't hurt you as much uh, but yeah, people aren't going to want to pay £3 shipping for one of these, so I keep it at around 250 and uh, people seem to be happy to do that, uh, and they get a nice tracking number, they can track it to their door, I never have to worry about that. Now obviously you can get a tracking number with Royal Mail, uh, but you have to take it into store to get it scanned, you can't shove it in the post box, or well, you can, it does work, but you're not supposed to, and it's just easier to take all my parcels in one go, so that is what I do now, um, I'm not sure if anyone else does it like that, because obviously uh, a lot of people still charge like 88p a pound for shipping on, on a game, which is obviously much cheaper, but they don't get the tracking number, they don't get that security, um, and uh, it gets lost, or if they're a scammer, you get out of pocket, so you can easily get way out of pocket, uh, via scams if you do it the old-fashioned way um, so yeah I like to have a tracker number on all of my media now this bag here is two train well a train uh, is it two train carriages or is it a train and a carriage I'm not sure I can't see on the picture but I will have it up here so you guys can see because I don't want to unwrap it uh, we've got six pound for this so yeah this is a uh, Tommy uh, Tommy to Tommy Tommy I forget how to say it Tommy I think uh, Thomas and Friends Trackmaster train and uh, mail truck, I think it is, for £6. And yeah, it was last year uh, I spent like £30 or £20 on a massive tub of trains. Like there was hundreds in there and uh, another massive tub full of track. The track sold off for like £50, I think. And uh, I've slowly been selling off the trains ever since. I've made hundreds on that lot. So really happy with uh that one uh yes but the next up is the rest of the stuff you remember the guy that bought the um fosters he bought another glass and uh, a disney uh, toy so he's also bought two cause light glasses uh and i think they were 9.99 let me have a look because it's doubled up here yeah, oh, eight ninety nine on these two cause light, so nine pounds on the cause light glasses, and there you go. If you wanted a better close up look, you got all of the mountains there with the cause light logo. I really do for a straight pint glass. I actually, quite like this. It's actually quite nice. I'm not going to lie. Um, there we go. I'll put that back there for you. And he also bought this Disney Minnie Mouse. Uh, plastic money box it's a little bit dirty i'll wipe it before it goes out uh, but yeah mini mouse there and uh, i guess if they paid nine pound for the other thing this went for about six pounds uh, which i'm very happy with because i think this was a throw in as well with one of my pickups i got off facebook the other week so that was actually a fairly quick seller that one next up we have a teddy this little bear here with the little hat as you can see looks like he's been to ascot uh, for the races Pretty cool. His arms are uh, jointed, but his legs don't seem to be. Or, or actually, his legs are jointed as well. There we go. Oh, hey. And he is a cottage collectible by Gans from 1995. So he is definitely vintage. Uh, and we got 1349 for him. I think we had him on sale. I actually recently just put all of my plush on a 30% sale because I have two whole bins full of this stuff right now. And I want to clear a lot of it out before car boots and stuff if they come back and uh, charity shops because I tend to buy quite a lot. Uh, so, yeah, I just want to get rid of pretty much most of the stuff that I already have. So we're ready for the new season when it happens, if it happens. Subaru Impreza WRC from New Zealand. Little car here. We got £8 plus postage. On that one, I sold another one of these. It wasn't a Subaru, it was like a Honda or something, but it was a rare one, and that went to America, and they paid like £30 for it, uh, plus postage, which was pretty crazy. Right, next up we have a book here. We have Britannia AD43, £7 on this one. I actually have a contact. Uh, the guy that I bought uh, his uh, reseller lot for f uh, £300, it was a recent video, uh, he actually does a lot of books. He gets uh, book returns, so basically books that are uh, brand new, but they've uh, been shipped out and they've got like a dent on the cover or something, and they've sent them back like a little bit of a, you know, a mishap. 
Uh, so they're brand new books, uh, but he gets them wholesale from somewhere. I don't know where he gets them from, but he gets them very cheap. And uh, I, I'm buying quite a lot of them off him for a good price, and they're going very well on my eBay, so that's really nice. Uh, so I paid about £50 for a massive bunch of books off him recently, and they've been uh, shipping out, so that's very nice. All right, next up we have Tech Dex Tony Hawk Half Pipe, Half Pipe, which I actually listed yesterday. Um, so that is this. That is this bad boy here. It's quite large, so I'm gonna have to find a nice box for it. But yeah, uh, this is a half pipe. You can use it just as a regular half pipe like this if you wanted. Uh, but it does have the middle tech deck piece uh, that goes with it like this. The only problem is the clips that connect the three bits together are missing. So I did have to uh, list it a little bit cheaper. Had it listed for 30 and someone kept offering me 20. And uh, again, I just took it, I was like, you know, I've got this massive box of tech deck for free uh, from a Facebook pickup and uh, 20 pound being offered at me for free. Uh, I was quite happy to take that and I have a ton more. Uh, I have uh, Tony Hawk stuff. I have regular Spin Master tech deck stuff. I had a carry case with loads of uh, boards and all the stuff. It came free from Facebook. So I'm happy to take the deals when they come to me. <laughs> I'm not going to hold off for an extra ten pound on something I got for free, so unless it's something really good that you know you're gonna get in the, like, in the next few days or something. But yeah, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Game of the Year Edition on the 360, and this got five fifty. We're not gonna hang around talking about this one for too much. It's in there with the manual as you would expect. Uh, five pound fifty plus postage. Next up we have Sony PlayStation Three. This is like a, a plug adapter. Um, but obviously that is brand new, but it doesn't have the actual like wall plug because it goes abroad. Um, but yeah, I got these from the gaming palette yonks ago. Comes with the cable, but not the plug. Obviously the British plug um, is not in there. And uh, the actual little like connector thing is in there as you can see at the front. But people abroad seem to buy these because they can then adapt their PlayStation uh, to fit their power supply. So this one is going off somewhere in the EU, but they paid six, six pound plus postage uh, on that. Next up, we have a watch which has sold for four pound 50. This is a Steltman woman's watch with a gold inlay strap. And uh, yeah, we got four pound 50 on that one. Puzzles here, these are bird puzzles, Rhapsody round puzzles, uh, I think these are, are Arrow, yeah, Arrow, uh, but definitely vintage, they're from like 70s or 80s, I think, and we got £10 for the pair of these. I'm like plonking all my stuff around the room everywhere here. Done that one. Oh, the last one is this one. This one's not showing up because they asked to cancel, but then they sent me a message saying, ignore the cancel, that's a moment of madness, so it's not showing up, but they have paid and uh, they do want it. Um, but yeah, we have a cancellation request, which I guess, I'm not sure whether we have to decline it or what, but uh, yeah, they paid. Let me see if I can get this up because £47.99 pence they paid for this. So this was actually on the 30% offer when I did my plush. So it would have been whatever, 30% more of uh, 44.99 is, but that actually doesn't work because you've already minus the 30%, so it'd be more than that. Uh, but yeah, it was like 55 or 60 pounds or something it was up for, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, she has sold, and this is uh, Sonic Amy Hedgehog. Uh, well, Amy Hedgehog from Sonic, should I say. Uh, very nice, you want to be looking out for stuff like this, the, uh, the logo on the tag. So obviously you have Sonic the Hedgehog, but on the little arm tag uh, on the back, you have uh, Sega Prize Europe. Uh, when you find like stuff like this, if it has that, it's worth loads of money. Um, but yeah, she is sold. She's like the third or fourth one of these I've sold uh, since I've been reselling, and they always do really well. This one hung around for a little bit longer uh, than expected, but she has now sold. And uh, yeah, that was the last item. However, another one has just sold, uh, and it is another book and they've paid £7.50, and I will put the picture here, uh, and it's like an ink book uh, for painting with like alcohol ink, so I will put the little picture here, and again, 
It is a brand new book, but there is a little rip on the front cover. So obviously massive discounts. But the good thing is you list it with a massive discount and uh, people are happy to pay it because it's a brand new book, but it just has a little bit of a rough edge and uh, they're happy to pay that. So that's always good. But yeah, those are the sales for the last day or so. Very happy. I did £188, like I said, or something like that yesterday. Uh, and I, I forgot what I did the day before, 140 or something. Um, so all of these items are going out. Uh, but yeah, we only did a postage like midway through a day or so ago. Um, so we're getting parcels out quick right now. Um, but yeah, it seems to be that list in 10 a day, which I've now moved on to is uh, a lot more uh, sales coming in from that than when I just did five. Obviously, you're listing twice as much as you was previously, but it's working out, which is really nice. So, yes, thank you so much for watching, guys. I got to go and spend the next two hours packing and labeling and stuff, all of this. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of today's video. And do check out my new website. It is here on the screen, slothshop.shop. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think uh, of that website. Save it on your browser. You can go there. Uh, it's quicker to get to my YouTube. You can check my eBay from there whenever you want. You can see what's listed. Um, and where's that card gone? If you ever want to buy something from me, quote VC10 in your offer. And... Uh, I'll give you 10% off. Um, if you quote YouTube or Sloth or something like that, I might give you a little bit more. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.